Today we're going to go over the installation and just an overall review of the Rancho crossover pipe kit for uh, 20, 20, there it's 2012 to 2016 Jeep Wrangler JKs. Uh, this is for the 3.6 liter. So when you lift the Jeeps and you know put an extension, uh, there's other companies that make uh, the little uh, um, exhaust extensions and actually this is one right here. So these exhaust extensions and the crossover pipe kit itself, they're made uh, to help clearance the drive shaft so it doesn't hit the exhaust. A uh, common issue with uh, lifting these Jeeps is uh, when you lift them, um, it uh, you know puts the drive shaft into the exhaust system and it'll melt the plastic uh, you know protective uh, cover over them. So originally. I tried to install the extensions, but the problem is when you install these extensions, it pushes the Y pipe into the cross member. And my Jeep has been like this for a while. Every time uh, you would start it, um, the Y pipe would hit the crossover pipe or the cross member, and you know it, it would just rattle. Uh, it was driving me crazy. So. Um, I ended up buying this Rancho crossover pipe kit, and I went ahead and I installed it, and we'll go to the Jeep and we'll go over everything, but uh, this worked out really well. So what comes with the kit is this, uh, the top pipe right here, and two exhaust clamps. And what you have to do is, at the white pipe, you cut it 10 inches in, on the side where the uh, where the Y is, like it's illustrated here in the picture, and on the pass passenger side down pipe uh, where the exhaust manifold comes down and the Y pipe connects, you cut it five inches in. And then this top piece right here replaces the part that you cut out. And again, this worked out really well. Um, I have plenty of clearance for the drive shaft now. Um, I have plenty of clearance uh, between the uh, Y pipe and the cross member now. Um, it doesn't hit, so it doesn't rattle anymore. It worked out great. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll go to the Jeep and uh, we'll review it all. So here's the Y pipe itself. and you cut it 10 inches in. And you can see right there where the clamp is. And here's the passenger side. And you cut this from here five inches in. You know, the cut's right about there. There's a shot of the whole pipe, and uh, I'm glad I put this in. It worked out really well. There's plenty of clearance here now. Plenty of clearance up top. Drive shaft has plenty of room. Worked out great. Just uh, recap again. Uh, this this worked out really well. I'm uh, glad I purchased this and gave this a try. Um, it solved all of my uh, issues with the white pipe hitting the uh, cross member and, you know, uh, rattling. And uh, it also gives me plenty of room for the drive shaft. So uh, it worked out well. I would, again, I highly recommend this to anyone uh, that has lifted their Jeep. Or, and, you know, this way you don't have to use these stupid exhaust spacers. An issue with the exhaust spacers is that uh, when you install them, it pushes the white pipe back and it gives you enough room to uh, clearance the drive shaft, but then the problem is it pushes it into the cross member and it starts making noise and it starts rattling. All right, so I think that wraps up the video. 
highly recommend this kit. Uh, this is still a fairly new channel. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.